I've reviewed a lot of flashlights on this channel, particularly those of Olight as you've seen. So I mean, what can I really say about a flashlight that's going to convince you that you need this one, or if you already have one, why would you need this new Baton 4? Well, I'm going to tell you. But first, let me start from the beginning. I remember the very first EDC or everyday carry flashlight that I bought. It was about 12 years ago, and I was at an outdoor store called LeBaron. And I saw this small black aluminum Leatherman flashlight in the impulse aisle, and I thought, sure, why not? Let's try this one out. So it went perfectly with my Leatherman Wave, and it got a lot of mileage on it. And unfortunately, I don't even know where it is anymore, as it's kind of lost into the abyss of one of my junk drawers. But anyhow, it was a decent AAA battery flashlight, the high and low mode, and it worked fine for what it was, but the black finish got worn off and it wasn't the brightest, but it was okay. It did its job. Now, fast forward to today, where we have a flashlight that basically charges itself. Well, no, it doesn't quite exactly charge itself, but this Baton 4 flashlight is a small form factor EDC light that comes with this really cool charging case. First, I'm going to tell you what I like, then I'm going to tell you what I don't like. Let's start off with the light itself. The size of this little guy is perfect for everyday carry. Small enough to fit in the fifth pocket of your jeans or cargo pants, but still large enough for a good purchase when you're using and holding the light. It's not the size that matters, it's the capability. And overall, it's solid feeling and has an excellent build quality. Now, if you look here at the new upgraded stainless steel button, there are indicator lights for the brightness level and battery life, as indicated by the small pictographic on each side of the switch. The body of the light has this really aggressive milled pattern on it for grip, which is kind of like a frag pattern or, I don't know, maybe even a pineapple. It's super grippy and useful for maintaining purchase of the light, but I do have one issue with it, which I'll get to in a bit, but it does its job. We have a two-way pocket clip, meaning that you can clip the light into your pocket in both directions, but mainly you can clip this light to the brim of your hat, mainly a baseball cap if you're wearing one, and you can now have a makeshift headlamp, which is super cool. Three modes of brightness and it's hold down the button to cycle through but there's also super low or firefly mode if you press and hold the button when the light is off and if we double tap we go into turbo or super high mode and if we triple tap we can go into strobe or kryptonite mode kryptonite. last but not least a magnetic tail cap on the butt end of the light that means you could stick it to the hood of a car or magnetic surface should the opportunity and need arise which leads me to my favorite part of this light, which is also the biggest sell for me on this kit. And that's right, the charging case. So first off, just holding this case feels really nice. The entire thing is rounded and smooth, and it feels like a bar of soap. That aside, it can charge the light a few times over. It's USB-C compatible. And on the outside, we have LED indicator for the battery life, which is also a button. Because you can use the light while it's in the case. Now, I think that's super cool. The actuation of the light behaves differently when it's in the case, simple on and off, but when you adjust the brightness, you just press and hold and it gradually ramps all the way up and all the way down. And when I put this light into the charging case, I for some reason think of Iron Man putting on his Hulkbuster armor. It just makes the light even cooler and more powerful. At 1300 lumens max and with a 170 meter throw, this light has more than enough power for EDC usage both indoors and outdoors. And one last cool thing about this charging case is that there is of course a lanyard attachment point and the kit does come with this branded lanyard but also this is such a minor detail and i think it's worth mentioning but olight actually gives you a little tool to hook the cord through the attachment point talk about details well done olight and while we're here if you don't like this lanyard i've made a tech and gear lanyard using micro cord and paracord that we could very easily attach as well i'll have my tutorial for that linked of course that all being said, what's the one thing I'm not a fan of? The only issue I have is where the pocket clip meets the body of the light. It makes it a bit tough getting the light in and out of the pocket as the milling on the body of the light is very aggressive. And I can really see this chewing up my pocket seam over time. Now you can clip the light going the other way, which does work better, but I do find it a bit finicky as the entry point needs a bit more precision to get the material in between the clip. It's not exactly like the i3T here where I can get it in and out of the pocket without much looking or thinking. Perhaps for future iterations of this flashlight, they could lessen or actually not do any of the aggressive milling underneath the pocket clip area, and that would maybe make it easier to get it in and out of the pocket. But just enough so that there's still tension, but it doesn't chew up your pocket. 
a small gripe for an overall great light. Now, if you want to get one of these baton fours for yourself, be sure to use my link in the description box below. I do not think you'll be disappointed.